Good morning, boys and girls of the internet. We're off to a nice chilly start this morning. I don't even know if you can see me, if I'm in frame, if I'm not in frame. But uh, off to a good cold start this morning. I'm ready for this weather. So ready for this weather. I'm done with summer. Get it the hell out of here. Summer for me just means dust and humidity and all that good crap. And uh, yeah, bring on the fall weather. I'm ready for the cold. So let me show you some scores that we picked up. Uh, these are all part outs, so none of this is getting put back together. But hear me out, this is a 18 or 16. 18 Ford Escape front wheel drive, got the four cylinder in it, it's a 2.0. Now it's smashed pretty hard. This thing came from the auction. All right, here's the cool part. Motor, that motor's bringing 1200 bucks all day long. Transmission, it's like 2400 bucks all day long. Uh, the miles are right on it. It's got a key. Let's see. I think this is the one that's got 30,000. I think this is the 30,000 miler right here. Thirty-five thousand miles. Yeah, good low mileage stuff. And uh, coming up next on the chopping block, look at this guy. This is one of the old workhorse Fords. Four-wheel drive. Check it out. Two fifty Power Stroke diesel. Seven three. Good looking truck. Motor runs. Motor still runs. Runs good. It's got a new alternator on it. So we've got a motor, a transmission. The trans is still good. It's full wheel drive. Front hubs, manual, eight lug truck. A lot of good parts. Bed is straight as an arrow. Check out the rust. Wait, there is none. None, nowhere. Look at it. If anybody's looking for a stupid clean bed or tailgate, it looks like there's one little scratch right in there. But rot, nope, non-existent. Sitting on Cooper tires. Look at the look at the cab. Look at these. These trucks got beat up and worked to death, and this one is just clean. It's got good doors on it. We've got a bench seat with no tears in it, no cracks in the dash, busted windshield. A steering column with a key, rubber mats, manual windows and door locks. Good parts truck. Good parts truck. That bed alone will bring some money. And then of course motor and trans. What else did we get? I'm trying to think of what else we picked up. The Audi A4 is coming from a friend of ours his rollback is currently broken and he's got about 20 cars he's trying to get rid of so we're towing him in and that came from his yard ah that's right this nissan murano this is a 18 or 19 oh i'm sinking in the mud why'd you guys let me do this this was a bad idea Nissan Murano, that's right. Uh, this thing has 4,000 miles. That's right. 4,000 miles. How? I don't know. <laughs> um, it came from a, I think it was some rental insurance place. But 4,800 miles is what's on this odometer. And that is just absolutely ridiculous. They probably wrecked this thing as soon as they bought it. Um, but the transmissions run like two grand. Motors run about the same. And then the back hatch is still good. Tail lights are still good. It's got some door glass. 
steering column with a key, uh, leather seats, well, airbags have come out of them. But, I mean, you buy the car for a grand, and then you make two on the motor and two on the trans, and then, you know, $600 on a rear hatch and 200 bucks a piece on some doors. Your money's there. Money is there. And then once you get all that crap out, you still got a radiator, condenser, wiring harness, all that stuff that's scrappable, all that metal. Lots of good stuff. Lot, and look, two good doors on this side. Two good doors. That's that's another grand in doors. Easy. Um, so that's gonna work out nicely. Uh, I guess. What are you doing, man? I got some more stuff. Uh, hold that thought with me 30 seconds. That's it. BMW X3 with like a buck fifty on it, thousand dollars for the motor, but the same for the trans. You buy the whole car for six hundred bucks. Then you still got a couple doors, hatch, stuff like that. Toyota Avalon 03, if I'm not mistaken. This thing was hit too hard for me to start, so that's a shame. Uh, I like the dash in these cars. It's like the older Preludes. Uh, this is something you buy just to fill up space on the truck. You know, doors aren't really, I mean, 100 bucks a piece on doors, maybe. $20 mirrors, and that's about all you're gonna sell. Maybe a bumper cover on the rear, if you're lucky. Uh, a lot of places aren't rebuilding these cars anymore when they get wrecked, so they'll just salvage the title and crush the car. So, um, yeah, a lot of the body shops I sell to just aren't fixing these older things. Insurance doesn't want to pay up on them. So this is a car you buy for 250 bucks from the auction just to have the parts um, for, you, for your your walk-in people, customers that are look, fix, looking to fix their own car. Uh, this isn't something that goes up online that makes big money. Uh, the Civic, on the other hand, uh, SI, dual overhead cam, K-Series, nice. Red stitch on the seats. <coughs> I'm sneezing already. <coughs> allergic to Hondas um, but look at this good doors on this side it's got three good rims on it rear bumper rear hatch tail lights spoiler this door and then motor trans got busted in the accident but the motor's still good K series like I said the motor will bring twelve thirteen hundred dollars uh, doors about two and a quarter 275 within that range a piece rear bumper for the SI I think it's running two and a half tail lights are like a buck fifty for the set and uh, this isn't like people who walk in because I know you can go to LKQ and pick up parts a whole lot cheaper than that because even I go to LKQ to get parts but for those people who don't do it that way for businesses for body shops for uh, collision repair companies for insurance purposes. They're not going to go to an LKQ and buy that. They're going to buy it from a yard like myself. And if you jump online and check it out, some of this stuff is ridiculously exp expensive. And I didn't even realize it. I didn't sell stuff like this for the last couple of years. That we started doing this in the last year, and you guys have seen that happen. I can buy them from the auction and part these things out and it's stupid the amount of money some of this stuff goes for I remember thinking I bought a Dodge Nitro and I was like there's no way I'm gonna get $400 a piece for fucking Dodge Nitro doors and guess who got with negotiation 650 bucks for two doors and a pillar yeah that was I couldn't believe it since it still happens that way and then this is a little Honda fit this guy's got a five-speed or a six-speed manual in it. And I don't think there's a key in it. Nope. He took the key out, so I gotta find a key. Hit in the rear. I had this car one time already. <laughs> and ended up with it back again. Uh, Ford Expedition is a limited. This little Jeep Grand Cherokee. And most of this stuff still runs. Um, like I said, most of it does still run. Here's a nice looking Silverado. It's got some wheels on it. I can sell Jesse them ugly wheels. Steering column, still got seats in it. Yeah, pretty grody, but uh, I can salvage something. 
whole front clip is gone because the front clips are always what's worth the most money. LS, 5.3. Yeah, it's got all the wheels on it. Got some good doors, good mirrors, good window glass. There's still some parts. Fenders, or fender. But lots of good parts left, lots of good parts left. And here comes the rollback now with the caravan. That, the caravan's coming from the yard that Audi came from. Um, they're just bringing in, uh, those are just regular junk cars. They're not anything nice. Um, then there's a local guy who's been bringing me bucks. I don't know why. I don't know if he's just a Volkswagen hoarder and he's just cleaning up. But uh, guys, if you need some Volkswagen parts, you need to get down here. I've got fenders, I've got trunks, another fender, rear glass, corner glass, I got doors. This one's been hitting the front pretty good. But check this one out. This one, 